Good morning, and thank you for joining me today, the 15th of December. We're going to read from the Psalms today, Psalm 80, verses 1 to 7. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine, that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. I particularly enjoy reading the Psalms where they look to God and they blame God. God, this is what you've done to us. You've fed us on tears in full measure. I wonder if you've ever blamed God for anything. I know I certainly have. And yet, everywhere else in scriptures, we see that God is a loving God who is with us and guides us and supports us. And so how do we resolve these things? Well, to me, it's a beautiful reminder that the Psalms are written by people. They're certainly inspired by God and they are this deep history, but People? People throughout history? We have had some interesting choices around what we take responsibility for and what we try and blame God for. And so once again, we see people writing poetry, a psalm in this case, where they're blaming God. I actually find great hope in this because it reminds me that 3,500 years ago, people were blaming God for stuff then too. I think whatever shape it takes, God's shoulders are broad enough to take our frustrations, our anger, our blame, and continue to love us. Isn't that a beautiful message? I don't particularly care for the parts of Christianity that tell us we are not allowed to be frustrated with God or angry at God. God is loving. God can take it. If you need to vent and blame God for something, feel free. But then also go back to scriptures and find all of the places where God shows up and says, it's okay that you've blamed me. It's okay that you've failed in your own way. It's okay that you've fallen short. I love you. I forgive you. I'm here for you now. I'll be here for you whenever. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much for this reminder and this encouragement that we can bring our difficulties to you. We can blame you if we need to. We can be frustrated. We can be angry. We can rail. And you will still be there. You will guide us. You will support us. You will forgive us. You will love us through whatever it is we do. We ask you once again to continue to love us, for we will continue to fall short. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. If you want to subscribe, you can click up there. If you want to watch previous daily devotions, you can click over there. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I love you all. Bye for now.